Alright guys, this is going to be a quick version of a video to show you how to basically open up your firewall and allow your uh, friends to get on your bucket server. Obviously I did a video previously that showed you how to set up a bucket server. Now the first thing you need to do in order to get your friends uh, to be able to access your system is you need to tell them what your IP is. Now this IP you give them has to be the not your private local area network IP that you may have if you are running a wireless router but your actual real IP on the internet so in order to find that the easiest way I recommend is to go to a website called IP chicken and I think it's only appropriate since Minecraft has chickens you go to it and then right here in big blue numbers you see your current IP now that is the number you'll give your friends now you give that to them, they may not be able to get on yet. In some cases that may be all you need to do is give that to them and make sure you've opened up your Windows firewall. But if that doesn't work it's probably because of, of this reason. So let's go to Programs Accessories Command Prompt and let's type IP config. That's I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G. And you can see here it gives us our local area connection and our IP is 192.168.0.191 you can see right now these two do not match. Now I'm obscuring part of this IP because I'm not giving you guys my real IP so you're only going to see this last number. But suffice to say every single one of these numbers up here at the top is different than these four numbers. That's because my cable modem gives my router the real IP which we see up here but my router gives all my local computers these what are called class C IPs these are, are, are not uh, routable to the internet. They're only for the local area connection. So if these two numbers match, which in our case they don't, but if they did, just turning on the, uh, the unblock, or unblocking in a sense, the firewall through uh, Windows Firewall, McAfee, or Norton, that should be all you need to do. Give your friends the IP and you're good to go. But if you're like most people, these two numbers are different and therefore you're not going to be able to um, have your friends connect yet. So what we're going to do, we're going to move this over here to the side. And what we want to do is we need to get to our router. Now how do you get to your router? That's going to vary depending on what type of router you have. Um, I can show you some general tips here but you may have to consult the manual that came with your wireless router or go to the website and look up you know for the manual or any quick start information but typically what you're going to do is you're going to take the first three numbers you see in your local IP in our case it's 192.168.0 you're going to come up to here and you're going to say 192.168.0 and replace this last number with the number one generally that's what will work sometimes you have to do that and you have to put like a colon and some other like port number uh, you'll have to look at your manuals for your router to find out but try just going to whatever the first three numbers are and then put a dot one at the end so we've done that now I can't do that here with my router because I don't have a traditional router so what if I showed you my setup it wouldn't help you guys at all but what I can show you is there's some emulators I have for some of the common routers. So let's say I went to uh, my Google Chrome and I typed 192.168.0.1 and it brought up this page because it was my D-Link. Say I had a D-Link router. The first thing we'd do is we'd go to the Advanced tab and we'd go to Port Forwarding and then we would basically check to enable this port forwarding. We'd type in Minecraft and that's just a name you want to give it. We could say Minecraft Server if we want it. Um, for TCP and UDP you put 25565 that's the default port for Minecraft if you change that in your settings then you'll want to change this appropriately but if you've left all the defaults make sure you have TCP and UDP both set for 25565 don't worry about these options just leave them and then in here this is where to route any Minecraft traffic coming in on these ports to this IP and that's when we're going to put this here so whatever your IP config shows you here you put here and then hit save and we're done okay so that's it at that point then when you give your friends that IP you saw on IP chicken and you set your port forwarding up you should be able to get in now let's quickly uh, we'll show on a uh, Linksys 
So you're going to go to Applications and Gaming. You can see we're in the port forwarding. We'll call it Minecraft. This is the port range. We'll say 25565 to 25565. And you want both TCP and UDP, so we'll pick both. If for some reason your router doesn't let you select both, then add separate rules. Do another one for TCP and then do one for UDP. Now, since this is an emulator of a Linksys, it doesn't show my IP, but what would happen in my situation here if this was a real Linksys router? It would say 192.168.0 here, and then in here I would put 191. I'd click Enable, and I'd hit Save. And that's all you have to do for a Linksys. And lastly, let's do a Netgear. You can see here we have port forwarding. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Add Custom Service. We'll call it Minecraft. We'll put our ports in. I'm going to change this to a zero here just because that's what my address is. I think uh, Netgear's default to a 192.168.1, but again, you'll know that when you when you do the IP config. And then we'll put our 191 in there. So again, we've got Minecraft, TCP and UDP, our default and port. We only have to forward that one port so that the start and end are always going to be the same. And then our IP of the Minecraft server, we hit apply. Now again, this errors out because I don't have a real Netgear router. So that's all you have to do guys is forward the 25565 port to your computer's IP and give your friends your uh, your uh, real IP on the internet with a site like IP Chicken and you're good to go. Now this was a quick video and if it didn't make sense or you were confused or you want more detail I'm gonna put another video up in another day or two that's gonna go through this all very slowly explain everything show examples um, and it's also gonna show you how to make things more stable uh, because what can happen is if you turn off your computer or your cable modem, DSL modem, you can get sometimes a new IP on the internet. So that IP chicken number that you got before may change. And if it changes and your friends are still trying to use the old one, they'll never get in. Also, sometimes if you're running a Linksys router or a D-Link or whatever, you turn your computer off, you know, someday down the road you may get a different local IP from your router, in which case your port forwarding that you did here will fail because you forwarded it to um, we'll fix this just for the sake of it you forwarded it to 191 but your computer got 192 so this no longer works so you'd have to go in here and change that and then tell your friends if your real world IP changed so there's some ways to not have to ever worry about that where it'll just always work but that's more detail than I wanted to get into here so hopefully you enjoyed this if you have any questions post in the video and like I said in a day or two you'll see a new video goes through all of this with much more detail